Hi, I am working on a novel and this is my first novel. And so as I was starting to set it up, I was like, I should totally show other people my writing process because I have written nonfiction works and I've published through Amazon and I use Google Docs, which is free and amazing. It really helps me to organize my books. So I'm going to show you how I use it and why I use it. And so here I'll just like put my title and then I can make links. So I put like the quote that inspired this book. Just you can I mean this is your thing. You can put whatever you want. This is just how I do it and I organize my books by chapters because I feel like that's less intimi intimidating for me than feeling like I have to come up with this entire detailed outline. So my chapter titles are my outline. And at first, they're super basic and descriptive. And so, like I titled this one, Waking Up. And the next one is Dreaming. And that just gives me an idea of what I have in mind for that chapter. And then I can put a brief description of the plot. I can put, um, like, I wanted to touch on the stages of grief. So I can put, oh, this one can be denial. And of what she's thinking there. If I'm working on the book and I'm typing away in chapter one, click on that. Oh, I'm typing away all this stuff. And then I'm like, oh, in the next chapter, I want to actually add, introduce the grandmother. Then I can go back to my outline kind of thing and put that down under the second chapter to make sure I introduce grandma later. Sometimes when it gets really chaotic, I will do like all caps and say add details about the journal or whatever. And then once I've done that, I can mark it like that or do like has been added so that I know. Um, and then that just helps me kind of stay organized, but know what's in each chapter and then save this link for only what is actually being written and not like my ideas for the chapter, but just the actual text, which right now is very basic what I have. And so um, like this. It's not excellent writing at this stage. It's just getting stuff on the page. And so what that looks like after you've been doing this for a while, um, actually, this is my entire book finished. Um, I keep a book to do list or you can title it a bunch of different things, book launch list, or if you're doing a course while you're writing it like this one I did a write a bestseller course I can click on that and go to the ideas that I had from the course tasks I've already completed that can help me feel better when I'm like oh I still have so many things left to do um so anyway uh do not fear this is not how much money I'm actually gonna put on this launch <laughs> if that makes you feel like whoa that's crazy um these are just ideas and this is like the amount that I heard that you would have to pay someone like that to do um so if you were to get like an advance or something that, you, that money could go to that if you're traditionally publishing for this book I've already published it um on Amazon and so that is also a free way to use, and I'm get, planning to do a tutorial on how to upload it and everything, but you can copy and paste your stuff into their, um, what do you call it? They have templates, and so that makes it really easy to organize everything and go from there, and I'll format it more once I'm in their template. But this just gives you an idea, like, these titles are more thought out, but in the beginning, they were not. And um, 
So I would just have my ideas, my list, and then I would move it. Um, I would send it to my readers, my kind of like beta readers, um, and ask them what they think, like which chapter titles stood out to them, which ones didn't seem very attention getting. Um, do they have ideas for how I could change it? That kind of thing. And uh, it's just really convenient. All of these are links. And so I can flip back and forth when I'm writing. Let me go to the one I have right now. Um, so say that I'm working on this chapter one and I'm like, oh, actually this belongs in chapter two. Copy that, paste it uh, into, and then I can like copy, delete it from there and oops, paste it in chapter two instead. And it's really easy, but I don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to delete that from here and um, go back and add it here again. And so um, it just makes it really easy to rearrange things. Same for maybe I want to take the entire chapter one and move it to where chapter two is and like kind of switch these around. And so I could like title this one um, chapter two and then copy that link that's currently chapter one, paste it here, copy this one up there and change that to chapter one, uh, however you want to do it. There are a few different ways you could do it. But uh, the other thing I love about this is all changes have been saved already. And every, you know, every few seconds when as you're typing. And so you can switch from a laptop to a desktop. You can switch from your computer to a friend's computer or the library or your phone. And it's going to be there. And so that just gives me so much peace of mind. <laughs> and it's really convenient. Until I get down to the end when I'm actually moving it to a Word document or something. And then I still have this as like a backup where all I would have to do is copy and paste things again into a Word document. Um, hopefully that helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. You can email me at mcstarbuck at gmail.com. I really want to help other authors not be so intimidated by the writing process and actually publishing a book and putting it together because it was kind of intimidating for me and now that I've done it, I'm like, that's so easy. Let me do it again. Let me do it again over and over. So I wanted to let you know some things that have worked for me and what I have used and give you some behind the scenes and show you that it doesn't have to be perfect from the beginning, but you can over time make it better and better. So just get started and Pursue your dream of being an author. It's crazy being able to say that. Um, and with Amazon, you don't even have to put any money in up front. I do recommend getting a proof copy, but that's only like $5 a copy. Well, depending on how many words you have and stuff like that. So um, it's really low cost. So Hopefully that just eliminates one more excuse for you. So uh, get busy writing and I can't wait to hear about your book and how it all goes for you. Thanks for watching.